Yo, what's going on guys, A Grouch here. So recently I've noticed it's been a really long time since my last Attack on Titan video. And by long time, I'm talking about six months. So I figured it was about time I got a new one out for you guys. And lucky for me, as of the most recent chapters, the final Titan shifter from Attack on Titan has finally been revealed. So today I thought I'd dedicate this video going over all the information that we currently know about it. Real quickly though, I did need to mention that this video does contain spoilers from the manga, so whether or not you're okay with that, now you know. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoy. So as most of us know, there are a select few individuals in the series who possess the ability to transform into titans, thanks to what's known as the power of titans. People like Eren, Annie, Raynor, and Ymir are a few examples that we see in the anime. However, it is eventually revealed that there are actually 9 separate titan powers that exist. Now, I don't want to spend too much time on them since I've actually explained their origin in separate videos, so if you don't know much about that, I recommend checking those out. But I did want to quickly breeze through all the ones that exist. The 9 titans are the Founding Titan, the Attack Titan, the Colossus Titan, the Armor Titan, the Female Titan, the Beast Titan, the Jaws Titan, the Cart Titan, and as of the most recent chapters, the Warhammer Titan. Okay, looking back at my older videos, I just realized I have made a video explaining the Titan shifters in the past, but I never actually explained each individual one in great detail. The Attack Titan being the only exception. And now the Warhammer Titan. So do expect a video on the other Titan soon. But yeah, jumping back to the Warhammer Titan, this power is and has been in possession of the Tiber family for many generations, a family of Eldians living in Marley. The Warhammer Titan, like all other nine powers, were brought into the world after the death of Ymir Fritz, aka the founding Titan. Before the Great Titan War, the Tiber family was one of several Eldian houses warring over control of the nine powers. By the time war had broken out between Eldia and Marley, the Tiber family had already managed to seize it for themselves, and were the first Eldian family to side with Marley, opposing the 145th king of Eldia, King Carl Fritz. However, in reality, the family were working together with the king to end the Eldian Empire, a plan by the king himself, who began feeling guilt over the atrocities the Eldians had caused for the rest of humanity. With their help, Marley managed to gain the upper hand in the Great Titan War, acquiring not only the support of the Warhammer Titan, but also the Colossus, Armor, Female, Beast, Jaws, and Cart Titans. After Marley won the war, the Tiber family was praised for their support in the early fighting, and for their service they were granted positions of high nobility and became honorary Marleans. They were permitted to live luxurious, while the remaining Eldian population faced discrimination. The Tiber family would go on to keep their high status in society for the next century, swearing loyalty to Marley and overseeing its development from behind the scenes. However, despite their pledge, the Tiber family would not use the Warhammer Titan in conflicts with enemy nations. Along with that, the identity of which Tiber family member currently controlled the Warhammer Titan was kept a secret from all but a select few Marleans, which explains why it took so long for us to actually learn anything about it. As of now, the power of the Warhammer Titan is held by Miss Tiber, and while I can say with 100% certainty that there have been others before her, she is currently the only one confirmed to have possessed this power. But that's enough of the history, what are its abilities? Now let me just say that this particular titan is the most odd of all nine, just going off what we currently know. However, since this titan made its first ever appearance, literally within the last two chapters, it is possible that there is still an ability or two that we haven't gotten to see. So if that happens and the Warhammer titan does gain a new ability after uploading this video, I'll be sure to add it to the description. Okay, so the first thing we should probably touch is this titan's appearance. First off, its skin appears rather odd when compared to that of all other titan shifters, as it looks as though it is wearing some sort of bodysuit, leaving only its eyes and mouth exposed. Like other titans we've seen in the series, it does possess the ability to harden its skin. However, unlike those, it doesn't seem to use it in a defensive manner. Rather, it is able to produce more of it and create a variety of different weapons. One example being, well, a hammer. However, it also has the ability to create more flexible items, such as a crossbow or a whip. So it's pretty clear that this titan is best suited for offense. 
However, another thing that makes this Titan unique from the rest is its ability to be controlled by the host from outside its Titan body. By using the same skin substance used to create weapons, the Titan Shifter can actually create a bridge connecting them to the Warhammer Titan without actually having to be physically inside of it. Doing so enables them to regenerate the entire Titan body while avoiding the risk of damaging their human form. While doing this, the shifter will encase themselves in a giant crystal, similar to how we saw with Annie, which is useful as it eliminates the weakness most shifters have in having to protect the nape of the neck. I can definitely see this ability being useful, especially in a one-on-one -on -one fight. However, I can still see some weaknesses, an example being when the user is forced to go up against the group, as they would be forced to fight and defend their original body at the same time. Still, a very cool and unique ability nonetheless. At the moment, it's still not clear if the Warhammer Titan is able to harden its own skin to prevent taking damage. As so far, we haven't seen any signs of it anywhere. Though my guess is that this is most likely intentional as without anything to defend inside the Titan itself, it can go on the offensive with very little to worry about. So it is definitely one of the more frightening Titans of the bunch. But unfortunately, that's all the information we have so far. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I know it was a little bit shorter than my usual ones, but this topic is one I wanted to cover for a while. If you found it interesting, then why not slap a like on it and comment the word hammer down below to let me know you made it to the end. Also, let me know which of the other Titan shifters you want me to cover in the next video. I'd love to hear your suggestions. But with all that being said, I will thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.